singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Yeah! He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Well, he calls himself the prize fighter, and he's earned that moniker as of late. You're absolutely right, Saxon. You have to remember main event battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Roman Reigns. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. Kevin Owens is the kind of guy who never hesitates to speak his mind, though it has landed him in trouble more than a few times in the past. But luckily, KO is also the kind of guy who is always ready to back up anything he says with his actions in the ring. True, and I'm sure Owens was doing plenty of jawing backstage heading into this match. It'll be fun to see how he backs it up. And we'll see if he's ready for the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Well, whatever Seth wants to be called these days, Corey, one thing does not change. Rollins has always been a dangerous opponent. At Seth's core, he is still as dangerous as ever, possibly even more so. We know Kevin Owens is a very emotional competitor, a very intense competitor. The more physical a fight, the better for KO. I've known Owens and Rollins for a long time, so there's no telling how far they'll go to destroy each other. I believe that Rollins has motivated Kevin to be even more merciless than ever and more willing to tear Seth apart without remorse. Oh, Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Rollins is set to slay. Oh my God, a small package driver. Rollins, kick to the gut, arms hooked, hit a ring! Rollins with that maneuver just proved he's as much of a menace as he's ever been. Oh, he switches it back around. When it comes to this rivalry, I think we all thought cooler heads would end up prevailing, but that has absolutely not been the case. Oh yeah, Michael, right now there is nothing that can stop the collision course that these superstars are on. Sure, it's been messy, but that's part of this business. Not every rivalry is a sportsman-like affair where you shake hands before and after every match. But this is very much the opposite. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Watch out. Oh no, crashing hard onto the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfire. Got it scouted. Getting back into the ring. And up the turnbuckles we go. Nicely 
Done. He's running on empty right now. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Yeah, KO will have something new to complain about if things stay this way. He's been complaining about your commentary for years, Saxton. Boot to the stomach gives them some... Oh, my God. Basement drop kick. Well, how about going to celebrate? This is uncalled. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, you won the match. Isn't that enough? This issue was so deeply personal. This is just insult to injury. 